Hi, this is Kevin Veggio Oil Man. I'm going to go out to my friend Dave's. He's got a new centrifuge. We're going to check it out and see how it processes oil. One of the real challenges in the waste oil world is always getting your oil clean. That's that kind of a black tarry substance, and we'll see that in just a minute when we get out uh, to Dave's property and get looking at uh, uh, some previous material that he's uh, processed and, and that, like I say, the black tarry substance. Uh, that's, that's like the thing that you're not going to be able to deal with in a normal gravity system or a filtration system. I've been running it for quite a few years and it's just really tough to get that material out short of a centrifuge. That's why they're essential in doing this kind of stuff and doing it long term. And I'm checking out his centrifuge. And uh, what kind of centrifuge is it, Dave? It's a filter max built by a gentleman in Jacksonville. Yeah, filter max. And uh, works on the same principle the other other centrifuges that we had. It spins at a really high centrifugal force and it forces out all the really kind of pretty. I'll get a close up of this just a minute. I know the lighting's not really good, but I'll get a couple close up shots. But this is an accumulation of several of these operations of spinning out this oil. So it's a really good way if you're if you're getting collecting waste vegetable oil and you're trying to clean it up a little bit. Uh, there are several really good features about these centrifuges. I'm not here to endorse somebody, I'm just kind of like an oil guy trying to help another oil guy. And this is a great system. It seems to be working really well. Hey, and here's the oil coming out the end right here after it runs through the centrifuge. Uh, it goes through this uh, system here and it comes up and it's fed up here in the top and we won't bother opening it up but essentially and there's probably some information online from the guy that sells these things but it's got a spinner inside of a, 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 tu a tub inside of there similar to the other centrifuge an electric motor now that motor is working off of uh, would be a increase a pulley system to increase the rpms of the uh, of the centrifuge, which is a really cool thing, because normally most centrifuges on the market kind of work on a one to one, which limits the RPM. And over here, you see the that steam there. I don't know if you can see it or not against my hand, but that steam is coming out, and that's evaporating the water, and of course you're getting some of the of the nasty stuff out the bottom. So that's just a quick review of this centrifuge and hope this is helpful and encourages you to do the same thing. Use a centrifuge, it's a great way to go. There's another uh, good thing to always keep in mind. Uh, Dave's got his tank here, his sub tank, uh, heated up with an electric heater and you see it on the gauge, it's about 220. Uh, so that's, of course, as well, uh, flashing off or evaporating the water. So. Uh, water is a bad thing, uh, fat's a bad thing, and uh, the fines, the, the really fine uh, particulate, all uh, help to cause you problems with your filter. And as I mentioned, I'd give you a closer view of this stuff. Let me get right out here in the light so we can see it. But you can see how nasty this stuff is. And if that was in your filter, you know, you wouldn't be going very far. And many of you probably experienced, like I have, if you press oil into service that's contaminated, boy, you're sitting inside the road in a little very, very short period of time. Well, good luck.